Breaking news! Louis Vuitton has had another price increase. Now, this is like the third price increase in the past year. I know that around this time, Louis Vuitton does have a price increase. However, I was in shock to see what actually went up. And surprise, some things didn't. Now, if you refer back to my last video, today was supposed to be an unboxing video of my new wallet that was going to replace the coin card holder. Now, I had already sold the coin card holder and I had purchased that at 360 and currently that is retailing at, oh my god, I don't even want to say it. Now it's retailing at 415. That is an increase of about $55. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. What can we do? What can we do? Before I um, talk about all the prices that I tracked, because I did take some screenshots last night of some items or some popular items that everyone wants in their collection. Um, let's do an unboxing, which is what this video was supposed to be. Now, this goodie right here, I had bought from The Real Real, and I haven't purchased for them for a hot minute. However, when I saw this, it was at a very good price, plus it had an additional 20% off and I had a $25 off credit which is insane I got this at the price of basically a card holder now and this has gone up uh, about $60 in comparison to the other things in this line this went up the most so let's get started and opening this goodie There we go. Whoop. There it is. Now, this is the real, real bag. They really thinned this out. I remember before they used to be way thicker. Um, what else is in this bag? And then my VC with my order number. And in total, I paid two sixty dollars for this item, which I believe is a very good price. Now... It came with the box, which is in very good condition. Um, and then the item is in here. Let me move this closer. So. And there it is. Now, if you guys don't know, this is a pocket organizer with... I believe this is... I thought it was taiga leather, but it might be just a smooth leather. And when you open it, it's like this. Now, I just love this monogram inside. Usually the coin card holders, not the coin card holders, the pocket organizers have a different interior, uh, which matches the color of the actual leather. Uh, however, this one is a little bit different. And out of all the pocket organizers, this is what went up the most. I believe uh, the rest of them were went to four uh, fifteen, and for some reason, this went up to um, four fifty, which I believe is simply because of the leather binding that's on the latch. But let me confirm. So yeah, all of them went from. 390 to 415 which is not that big of an increase however this specific pocket organizer went from 390 all the way up to 450 so like i said it's probably for the leather in this uh pocket organizer which is actually going to serve as a good transition to the price increase so now in this part of the video, we're going to be discussing the price increase on specific items in the Louis Vuitton website. Um, one that I want to start out with was the card holder. Now this piece has not gone up in about a year, which was kind of odd in terms of Louis Vuitton standards. The card holder was a pretty popular piece for Louis Vuitton, and at the price point of 220 which was the previous price, it was very attractive for someone who wanted to enter the brand. Now, that price has unfortunately gone up to 265 which is the price of the six-key holder, uh, which has now 
also gone up higher. Now following the card holder, the next popular piece is the key pouch. The key pouch is an iconic piece of Louis Vuitton. I had it and displayed it. I no longer have it in my collection, unfortunately. However, it went from 270 all the way up to a drastic to 325. Now, that is an increase of about $55, so it's very consistent with all the other monogram pieces that I've seen going up. Now, following with the six key holder, it went from 265 all the way up to 325 Now, following up with that is the ever-infamous, because at this point, it's a torture to get, is the Pochette Accessories. I had this in my collection, and I can link the video down below for you. Um, it did not work out for me. However, I had bought that at $7.90 a year ago, and today it is retailing at $1,290. Yesterday, this piece was valued at $1,050. So that is a drastic price increase. I don't know. At this point, I think the push accessories is not worth purchasing. Um, because you can probably just get something a lot better for that price point. Following that, it's its little sister, the Mini Pochette Accessories. Now, the Mini Pochette retails, used to retail $540, and it is now $745. That is insane. This is a small little piece from Louis Vuitton that previously I had bought at $450. Now, Following that is the ever so popular Speedy 30. The Speedy 30 is such a classic piece and it was a very much an entry piece for Louis Vuitton. Yesterday this item used to cost $1,370 and today it is costing you $1,550. Two years ago this bag was $1,000. It has gone up $550 over the cost of retail at that point, which is insane to me. And it is official. The Neverfull is now in the 2000s, in the MM size. This bag used to cost 1400 And mind you, this wasn't even like five years ago. No, this was like two years ago. So the price of it yesterday was 1760 And now it is costing you a whopping $2,030. Now, following along with the trends, the Pochette Matisse went by around the similar price point than the Pochette Accessories, which was around $250. Um, this went out from 2360 all the way to 2570 And now I'm going to get more into man pieces. Um, as you know, I'm a man in luxury, so it will be unfair for me to not discuss this. And to be quite honest, it did not go up by the same margins that the women pieces went by, which I'm not sure why. Uh, one of the most popular pieces from Man in Louis Vuitton is the District PM, and it went from 1510 to 1760 Now, another very popular Louis Vuitton piece is the Avenue Slim bag. Uh, the Avenue Sling went from 1760 to 1900 which is not that bad of a price increase. I I was expecting this to hit the 2k mark, however, I'm glad it didn't because this is on my list of things to get. And now we're moving more towards the travel pieces, which is the key ball line. Um, I tracked the key ball 55 and yesterday this was 1960 and it went up to a 2170 Oh my god, I don't, can't believe I'm saying this number. Now, one item which I was surprised didn't go in price is the Pouchet Voyage MM. Um, this is more like a man clutch, and it did not go up in price. It is still $1,030. So, if you're looking to purchase this, buy it now, because it's not going to be at that price much longer. <laughs> And last, but certainly not least, I wanted to track the soft trunk. This is such a popular piece for Louis Vuitton, and I just don't see a lot of guys with it anymore. Uh, but I love this. It's a dream bag for me. And that is the Louis Vuitton soft trunk. Uh, 
it did not go up in price at all. And I'm very surprised. It is still 3650 I really expected this trunk to go up into the $4,000 range. However, it did not. Which, you know, I'm not complaining about. So, we're good. <laughs> well, guys, that concludes the segment of the video. Thank you so much for joining and supporting me in this luxury journey. It's been a rocky ride, but so far, I am enjoying it. Um, now, if you find anything informative in this video or really like how I executed it and would like me to continue to do this, please make sure to leave a like down below. Um, if you have any comments on anything I said or the price increases, uh, please leave them down in the comment section and if you would like me to continue to do videos like this please subscribe and with that i'll leave you guys to it goodbye